हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दीज केसेस वी विल ड्रॉ शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर ईच केस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व दीज टू केसेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व कैंटिलीवर बीम सब्जेक्टेड टू यूनिफॉर्मली वेरिंग लोड ओवर एंटायर स्पेन नाउ वी विल सॉल्व दिस न्यूमेरिकल वी कैन सी हेयर ए बी इज ए कैंटिलीवर बीम and at the free end load is zero and load is increasing uniformly towards right side and at the end fixed end its weight is w per unit length now we will understand the meaning of uniformly varying load this is duster and suppose at the this point load is zero and when we are going to this side load is increasing it is zero here then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like this so it is a uniformly varying load it is a and b load is zero here 1 2 3 like this and it is increasing to 10 so it is an example only so this varying load we are showing in this uh, slope here load is zero and it is increasing along this length okay now we will take section between a and b so y y dash is a section between a and b and the distance of this section from point a or from free end is x now we can see here there are two triangles a d e this triangle and another is a c b so we will use similar triangle properties a e upon a b A E upon A B equal to this upon this. D E upon C B. So A E is X. A B L. D E we have to find out D E and C B is W. So D E Equal to W X upon L. Now we will write shear force equation. Shear force diagram. Shear force equal to. We can see here. This is section. We will see towards the left of this section, and this is a triangle A D E. so shear force is area of the triangle half this is base d is the base into de into height which is x so half d is wx by l into x and this force is acting downward so sign will be negative this is negative in this question we are taking triangle like this a d e so area of triangle half we are saying we are saying this is base and this is height x is height so half d e into x which is written here is it clear now we will find out shear force at x equal to 0 
shear force at x equal to 0. When we will slide this section to this side, x will reduce, reduce. So, when x will be 0, we will put x equal to 0 in this general equation. So, shear force will be 0. Now, shear force at x equal to L, we will slide this section to this side, x will increase, increase and it will become equal to L. So, we will put x equal to L in this equation, this equation minus W L upon L into L. It is cancelled minus half W L. Is it clear? This is the general equation. And it is a parabolic variation. Parabolic variation. So, shear force diagram it is a It is B, shear force at point A is 0 and at x equal to L is minus W L by 2. This is B. minus W L by 2, this is point B and it is a parabolic variation. So, graph will be like this. Now, we will write bending moment equation. Bending moment equal to shear force into perpendicular distance. So, load is a D E, this is load, we will convert this varying load into the point load. A E D this is uniformly varying load. and we know it is x. So, we will convert this load into the point load. A E So, point load will act at the x by 3 distance from the base this is the point load and it will act at the distance of x by 3 from the base. This is base, this is height. So, this distance will be x by 3 and shear force is this one. minus half minus half w x square upon l. 
So, perpendicular distance we will convert this into the point load, point load will come here. And from this section it is total x, so it will be x by 3 x upon 3. So, bending moment is shear force which is this one minus half w x square upon L, this is force and perpendicular distance is x by 3, this is bending moment equation. Now, I am rubbing this one. Now, we will find out the bending moment at x equal to 0 and x equal to L. So, bending moment at x equal to 0, we will slide this section to this side, x will reduce. So, it will become 0 at x equal to 0, this is the bending moment equation put x equal to 0, bending moment is 0 and bending moment at x equal to L, we will slide this section to this side. So, x will increase, increase and when it will come to here, x will be L. So, put x equal to L in this equation minus half w L square by L into L by 3, this is cancel minus w L square by 6. So, we will plot here it is shear force diagram. At point A, bending moment is 0, it is 0 and at x equal to L is minus w L square by 6. Minus w L square by 6. So, this equation is cubic variation because it is coming x cube cubic cubic variation minus w x upon 6 L. So, it is a cubic variation, so, its graph will be like this. It is parabolic variation and it is cubic variation. So, this is shear force diagram and this is bending moment diagram. We can also find out the values of this curvature for SFD and BMD by putting the value of x, it is shear force, it is bending moment, it is equation of shear force, it is equation of bending moment, keeping the value of x equal to 0, it is 0, 
0 and we are increasing the value of x up to l we are getting minus w l square by 2 l minus w l by 2 and it is minus w l cube upon 6 l minus w l square by 6. If we will cancel l it will be minus w l square by 6 and on cancelling l here minus w l by 2. So, this was about the cantilever beam subjected to uniformly varying load over the entire span. In next video, we will discuss simply supported beam subjected to a concentrated load. Thank you.